Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to add new data to a master Excel spreadsheet using Python. The idea of this tutorial actually came from a viewer slash reader named Ray, and he reached out to me on Discord server to ask about how to do this. Thank you, Ray, for the question. So I just want to point out that although the sample files here are hypothetical, the idea of this tutorial actually came from a, a real world use case. So let's get started. We have a master spreadsheet on the left hand side. In this spreadsheet, we have two tabs, Canada and USA. Inside each tab, there are some data. And on on the right hand side, this is the new data that we receive regularly. So what we want to do is we want to transfer these records from the new data file into our master spreadsheet. And you can see that in the new data file, we have a country specifying whether it's for Canada or for USA. So basically, if this is for Canada, then we want to move this record to the master spreadsheet on the Canada tab. And likewise, if this is for USA, then we want to move these records for USA to the USA tab. So we're going to do this using the Excel Wings library. There are actually several ways to add data to a master Excel spreadsheet, but I think Excel Wings is the best tool in this case. In my opinion, Excel Wings is actually the best Python library for manipulating Excel files. You can find links to the sample files in the description below if you want to download them and follow along the tutorial. So if you haven't already, you need to download and install the Excel Wings library. To do that, just open up a command prompt and type p VIP install Excel Wings and press enter. I've already installed Excel Wings on my computer, so I'm not going to do this. So in our Python code, first step, we're going to import Excel Wings as XW. This is just by convention. People are lazy and they want to use short names for names. And once we import Excel Wings, we're going to open up the master file workbook. We can use Excel Wings to open up an Excel spreadsheet by creating a book object while passing the Excel file name into that object. So once I run this line of code, my Excel is going to open up with the master file spreadsheet. I'm going to resize the window so that you can see what I'm doing and how Excel programs react to each line of code. So we have two tabs or sheets inside this master Excel spreadsheet and we can get the sheet name by calling the worksheet.sheets and let's run this. Note how this returns a sheets object which is really a collection of Excel sheets and we can use indexing to access individual sheets for example like master sheets and index zero which means the first sheet and if we want to get the name of the sheet we can just use dot name so do that and it will return Canada, which is the name of the first sheet. So now we're on this master file sheet one and we want to put the new data starting from basically this line, the first non-empty row of the master file. And we can tell that this is row five just by eyeballing it. So how do we find the last row of this small table here? We can just select cell A1 and then press Ctrl and the down arrow. That's going to take us to the very last row of this table. And for the next row, we just need to add one to this row four here. So how do we get the row four? We can pretty much just mimic what we need to do manually, which is Ctrl plus down arrow. So the way to do that in code is like this. So we're going to reference a range or cell A1 and then we'll do end and down this way if we run this master sheets this is going to give us the cell reference of and down which is a4 so we're basically we selected a1 and then we're going to the end by going down which is the a4 and if you want the address of this cell you can just add dot address that's going to give you the A4, but since we're only interested in the row number, we're just going to change this to row and that'll give us the four. So in order to put the new data in the next line, we just need to add one. And this is how you can get that row programmatically. All right, so moving on to the new data file and we can use something similar to open up the new data file. We just call xw.book and plus the file name. So this just opened up the new file. So a quick observation, our new data occupies the cells from A1 to G6. So how do we get the range of all these cells? We can do that by calling the range and then give it a reference. So this is kind of like our starting point, which will be A2. 
And the reason that we don't start from A1 is because the first row is just the header row, which we don't really need. So if we call the range A2 dot expand, this is going to start from the cell A2 and go down all the way and then also go right all the way. Basically, it will expand this selection to all the data points we have. And once I run this, it will show the range from A2 to G6. And we're going to skip these three lines because we just talked about it in the previous section up here. And this is essentially the same thing as the expand function. But now after expanding it, we want to get the values of um, this selection here. So once we run this and we save the values into a new data raw variable, let's check what's in this variable. So essentially this is a list of lists. And there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five lists inside this uh, bigger list. And each list correspond to one line of data record. So going back to the master spreadsheet, as we can see, what we want is we want the date column. We want the ID. We want the city. But we don't want the country. And we want the description, the number, and then the percentage column. So the only column that we want to skip or we want to drop is the country column. Uh, yet the country column is also important because this column will tell us which tab that we need to put the record on. So let's use Canada as an example. So we're going to pick out the entries with Canada and we're also going to reconstruct the list so that we drop the Canada from the list while keeping all the other entries. And this is the code to do it. So basically this is a list comprehension. And if you need help with this comprehension, check out my other videos and you can find them here. So now we have a way to filter the data and then only return the parts we want. Let's move on to the next step where we actually add the data from the new data file to the master spreadsheet. So we can write a loop, basically looping through all the sheets inside the master spreadsheet. And we're going to run that list comprehension to pick out the record only for this country, for Canada and then for USA. And then we're going to find out where we should be putting the record to. So the starting row and for Canada, this is going to be row five. For USA, this is going to be row six. This new row is going to give us that number five and six. The next line here is for each individual sheet, we're going to access the cell number. So for example, for Canada, this will give range five, one, which means cell A5. And we're going to put the temp data for Canada, which is uh, these two lists. We're going to put that into here, basically. And let's run that and see what's going on here. So I just run the code and basically the code picked out the two entries for Canada and then it dropped the country name Canada while leaving all the other fields here. And they also transfer the data from the new file to the master spreadsheet. And let's check on the USA tab. Same thing happened on the USA tab. So now we have the data here, but if you look closer, you will notice that the format of the new data that we just transferred isn't the same with whatever is already in the master spreadsheet. So we also want to make the format consistent between the new data and then the existing data. There's a way to do that. We can basically copy the existing format from, let's say, row two, and then we'll paste the format for everything down below. So this is the code to do that. I'm only going to run it for the Canada tab. As you can see, this is the master spreadsheet and sheets zero, which means the Canada sheet. And then I'm going to get the cell A2 and then expand that to the right and then copy. So basically what this line here does is it will select A2, expand all the way to the right, and then copy. That's how it does. We're also going to use A2 as the reference or the starting cell, and then we're going to expand. So this means expand all the way to the right and all the way down. And then it's going to paste formats only, basically. When I run this, you will see that we'll be copying the format from here to other cells, to other rows down below. I'm going to run this. 
and we notice that the background color the cell background color also got copied over but if you look closer then you will see that the date is still messed up we recognize that these two integer values these are just the excel's way of representing date using integer numbers if we actually show it here the short date is going to show the correct date but the thing is it's not going to show in the same format as the existing data and what we can do is we can reference these two cells a5 and a6 which is here and we can change their number format attributes so it's called attributes in python but in excel i believe these are called uh, cell properties we can change that to month slash day slash year so this way we can have a consistent format between the existing data and then the new data that we just copied over and last but not least we're going to save this file the master spreadsheet we're going to call dot save function and that will save this spreadsheet as you can see it's uh, saved here so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one